We have a special presentation today that I think we're all going to benefit from, whether you're a bookkeeping firm, accounting firm. So welcome to today's session. We are looking at recruit and there's a big one on how to recruit the right people, how to train them right and not feel like you're wasting too much time in that training process. We can often have good people come along, but it's difficult to get them there. So this is a little bit about our special guest, Eng. My name is Eng, Siv Young, and I'm born in Laos. I came to Australia in 1970 with no skill, no English. Basically, I can speak six languages. So English is my number six. So when I first came to Australia, because I can't speak English, so it was really, really hard. I have to study really hard to get into uni. And within seven years in Australia, I graduated from Macquarie Uni and got my accounting degree, wow. which is I really proud of. And then after that, I got a job in a chartered accounting firm working as a start with as a graduate and with no experience. Work for seven years after that got married and decided to have our own accounting business so I set up the TMS in 1993 which is long long time ago now and working ever since up to now and I'm a sole practitioner and start the business from scratch and been through a lot of things hard life and now I have a bit of easy life because Thomas is taking over to be the managing the business and so I have more time now to do what I really like I enjoy bike, cycling and traveling and singing, music, tennis, whatever that I miss out before that I try to spend a lot of time making sure that my family is looked after. Now the two sons is all grow up. I'm just sort of concentrate on my daughter. So that's it about me and I achieve. I am a fellow of CPA, a fellow of self Management Fund Specialist and a registered tax agent. So that's me. Wonderful. Oh, look, that's great to learn more about you that, yeah, you've accomplished a lot and I think it's testament to the work that you've done in your firm and, and we're all here because we want to create a firm that gives us the freedom to do the things that we love and enjoy and still run with successfully without us in it so much so I uh, thank you Eng and Thomas leading the way on on how to feel that freedom it's great Eng you've been working with WISE for the better part of this year on developing a technical and practical training program that you've been running for the last number of years in your own firm before we go into why you've created this program or some of the results from it what was the problem you were facing that led you to creating your own program? Okay, well, this is back like more than 20 years ago. Basically, I'm always in constantly looking for staff and there's a lot of scarcity, like very hard to find staff. I mean, I'm willing to, if I can find a senior accountant that experience and can do the job, I'm willing to employ them. But the problem is that it's very hard to find um, mm -hmm. experienced staff to be able to just get into the firm and do the work for you. Even I try everything, like I try to hire a senior accountant as well, willing to pay for the cost because I think if they can do the work it's not going to be a cost to me isn't in or like probably can make more money but the problem is that when they say that they have four or five years experience and when after I hire them they can't even do simple tasks that I ask them to do and I try so many things so at, back then when the GST came in Australia year 2000 we need a lot of staff to help because we have to prepare business activity statements every quarter every month and so but at that time it was so hard to find staff but there's a lot of graduate there's a lot lot of accountants that graduate from uni but have no experience and they all come to my firm and to say hey I'm willing to work for you for voluntary you don't have to pay me you just have to give me an opportunity to come in and I will help you and just to gain the experience so they can get a job because to them it's a catch-22 because they can't mm -hmm. get a job because they have no experience and if they don't people don't give them a job then they're not going to have the experience and then I found is my staff which is she's still with me she was looking for a job for eight or nine months and when she came for the interview she was in tears. She was crying and she was saying, I don't know, you know, I thought I finished my uni. I should be able to get a job, but look, eight or nine months, I still can't. And then it suddenly brings up like, okay, you guys are looking for a job and you all graduate from uni. And I know how hard study at uni because for myself, it was so difficult because English wasn't my first language. So to me, anyone that can graduate from uni, they are very smart. I think they work very hard and they're very smart. So I come up with this idea. I say, okay, how about you guys pay me to fee 
coffee, right? I set up this training course and then I will have the time to train you because I try already like hiring somebody have no experience and getting them to come to work and without training them, they're just going to sit there and then they can't do anything. And all you can ask them to do is like go and photocopy, go and do filing and they're not really doing the work. And so then I come up with this idea. So I create this accountant practical training course back more than 20 years ago. And it's another way of the way of I hiring because I always hire wrong because when they come for interview once or twice and when they talk nice and I just hide them because I'm very like if they talk sweet with me I just hide them and I always hide it wrong so I set up this and then we have like a two weeks training and they pay me sort of like a tuition fee and during this two weeks training with them it gives me the opportunity to see their attitude their adoptability the personality and whether they culture fit into our firm and how quickly they can learn and things like that and when I put them through and the promise that I give to them was that if they can pass my exam because I set up an exam mm-hmm. and then they're satisfied the personalities I will hide them and if I hide them I will refund them the tuition fee but for the people that I don't they can go and get another job now that they've got the practical skills now that they have the experience of how working in the public accounting firm like they can mm-hmm. tell them that I know how to prepare the pass I know how to prepare the financial account the tax return and they will get high and I was right most of my students I got high and the people that I don't hide because I can't hide everyone I'm just a, a small accounting practice I don't have I can't afford to hire everyone but the people that I fit it doesn't mean that they are super super better than the other it's just the culture is fit the personality yeah. is fit and whatever I say I just feel good so that's why I hire I hire by attitude and anyway that's the story so then after you're hiring them after you employ I also have problem of how can I developing them how can I sort of give them this career like they can't just every day just thinking doing the same thing that you have to, to keep them to retaining them I have to training them upskill yeah. them promoting them and so forth but that doesn't stop them going away because a lot of people will have the good opportunity and good offer more salary and they will leave me but we always live in a good term because I'm fine I mean if I can't fulfill your career path and I can't help you then yeah feel free to go and do whatever that it's good for you so I'm fine with that so that was my three biggest challenge you know when I I'm, I'm running the accounting firm for everyone wanting to go on this journey on developing their staff with this type of framework and their own training what are the top three tips that you would give them to do this successfully and to get the similar result okay so I got here like the three tips is like you really need to take time to build this structure framework a step-by-step procedures and you need to have this in order to be able to train well like you can't just go and give them the you know the job here and there and and it's just not going to work but if you have a structure and framework the patterns and the step-by-step procedure and the system if you build that it's going to be good but then the most important thing is that you have to have the time and to focus on that training can't just leave it you have it but if you don't train them how to use it it's not going to work so you really have the time and focus of doing that and also ability to empowering people encouraging people to bring out their goodness their talent that's my three tips like if you want to build this other successful training program yeah I think they're wonderful tips and definitely things that we've heard uh, Ed talk about a lot as well haven't we yeah I've been on this journey with Ying from the start because in first when she suggested hiring two juniors I thought one is hard because it consumes another person to train them so and I remember at the time where we didn't have that much time the capacity wasn't as much and then I was a bit skeptical at yeah. hiring one junior let alone Ying Hai two <laughs> it's going to take even more time from the senior and there was no capacity at the time but having seen it work and the juniors got trained up so quickly and within a few months they were doing the work of a one-year experienced person and then within a short period of time they were doing the work of a two-year experienced person (laughs) and it just blew me away so I've seen it work firsthand and then I've seen the work getting done physically getting done and being ahead of the program we schedule the work and so forth so we could see that there was a huge increase in productivity from very junior staff so all credit to you uh, Ing for putting what some call work on your business which is I call it investing in the systems in your balance sheet so you can be systems dependent not people dependent and you can use the system now to scale your business so that you can put your employees through this program 
program. But he, I guess it was it's easier to train the graduates and people who are junior. And as you say, there's no baggage for them to fight against. But it's also a thing to just put your existing people through, I think, just to yeah. fine tune their technique. Because a lot of times if someone takes, you know, two hours to do something instead of an hour, a lot of it's technique. And they're, yep. they're going the long way around instead of cutting to the chase. And a lot of that is to do with the baggage they've gathered from the previous experiences and just a rehearsal of just a fine tuning of uh, what they should be doing it's great as well yeah All that's right. true so we've just covered off that it definitely brings them through up to the experience intermediate really quickly so it's been fantastic learning more about this program that you've got Eng, and I think there'll be a little bit more about the program that you've developed and how other firm owners can actually get access to it and use it in their own businesses we'll have that going out now post clinic email to everyone so that'll be really exciting for members to have a look at how they can actually implement this in their firm without needing to go through the experience and road bumps that you've already endured for us in <laughs> you've put it together in, in something that we can start utilizing so that's fantastic 